Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. This is the first OFAN Design Damascus EDC knife. Would you look at that. I mean, would you just look at it? This is the newest relief from O Knife or O Light. They're having their St. Patrick's Day sale. Everything's up to like 40% off. I'm going to show you a couple knives and some very sweet gear. So hold on to your horses. Now, this bad boy's 8.8 .8 inches long. It has a 3.8 inch blade, and your cutting length is three inches. And this is weighs in at 5.4 ounces. So it is not a lightweight knife. But check out the cleaver. <laughs> Would you look at the cleaver on this thing? Oh my goodness, it's like shwink. It is, a, it is some serious blade. You cannot get more drop shutting than that. It's like, hey, you better get your finger out of the way or I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. And look at this, reverse flick all day long. And let me give you a little look at this Damascus. Look at that Damascus, ooh yeah. Has a very nice pattern for all you Damascus fans. You know, I don't know what the steel is. If I had to take a guess, I would throw a, throw a guess in that it's probably like a 9CR18 type Damascus. I'm not positive, but it has G10 handles. You have two colors. It comes in the, the blue and the black with the black bolster type look. You do have a blue anodized, yeah, look at that. Look at that pivot. And then you have a ring around the pivot over here. So it, it is very nice. Um, it does not, yeah, it does. <laughs> I thought it didn't have a reversible pocket clip. So look at that. The pocket clip is inset, so you don't have any screws in the way. It's easy in and out of the pocket. Nothing's gonna grab the edge of your pocket and snag it. And it's definitely not gonna tear up your pockets because this G10 is smooth. It doesn't have any texture at all to it. But the Ergos are great and it has excellent jimping. Here's a look at your jimping. Check that out. Would you just look at the jimps and they are far enough out so you can put your thumb out there and really get to it. Now, as far as chopping, I don't know that it's gonna be a super chopper because you do have your flipper that's this much lower than the blade. But I guess if you're on the edge of the table or something like that, or if you're just doing a little shwink, 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 then it is going to work very nice. I know a lot of folks collect the O knives and they're O knife fans and O light fans. And oh, if you're an O knife or an O light fan, just wait, wait till you see the the other things I'm going to show you, but I wanted to give you a good look at this. They get an Olight for sending these along for me to share with you all, but it feels very nice. It has a good lockup. The lockup I would say is about right around the 40% mark. And then are we centered? Yes, it is centered. And look at that. It does come down to a nice sharp edge. And you can see on the inside of the liners here where they are milled out for a little bit of weight reduction. That, so it's bringing it down to 5.4 ounces. So every bit of little, every little bit, every bit of little metal that they took out did help. But man, I can't get over. If you like drop shutty knives that shut their own blades, it does not, it cannot get more drop shutty than this. This thing goes, goes straight, straight in its home. And you can even do the... <laughs> <laughs> you can mess around a little bit, but the reverse flick is very good on it. And then, yeah, there's no issues whatsoever. Look at your jimping. It has great jimping on the flipper. It, it is very grabby. doesn't matter which side I'm on. It's just enough. Almost needed a couple more, but they do have the jimping right on top here. So when your finger goes up top, I can feel that roughness and it just comes flying out. So that is the freeze three. How about that? We've looked at the freeze one and the freeze two. Well, there's the freeze three. And when you get an O knife, it comes with that nice case. And here is the coin. Look at that. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Here's the coin that comes with this one. There's that side. And here's this side. What do they call these? A challenge coin. You could collect the whole set. As always, there's always a Bees Blades 10% off code in the description and the comment section of every video. But during this sale, these are running for about $79.99. And if you miss the sale, you can still get 10% off with the Bees Blades code. Before I show you the next knife, check this out. If you've seen my videos before, you may have seen this, but this is a freebie. Usually they give away a flashlight or something. These are normally like 15 bucks. This is a Gober and you hold it down to turn it on. It has a bunch of different colors and you're like, what in the world would I use that for? You, I use this when I'm walking my dog. I usually don't have it on the flashy. I'll just have it on the red. You hold it down, you can click it and it'll change different colors. You can go through the red, green, blue, the purple or the uh, kind of blue. You double tap it 
and it starts flashing. So you can make it flash whatever color, green, red, blue, just as a little signal. So you can put one on your dog's collar. You can put one on your back. That way, both directions, someone knows you're there when you're walking your dog, maybe it's a darker street, or you can have it on when you're backpacking. But, you know, truthfully, this is great to have for kids too. And you can turn it on just the white light and put it in the top of your tent, and it's a nice glow. But these are the freebie right now just for logging on to the Olight site. So this is a really good deal. These are normally like $15. Now this is an O-Knife Splint. This is a fan favorite of Olight or O-Knife. And this is, this is such a good, small, lightweight, everyday carry pocket knife. And it's multiple deployment. You can top flick it, front flick it, you can rear flick it, and you can also reverse flick it. It's a very snappy blade. It has an upswept blade in 690 blade steel. Uh, it's no, no doubt where it came from. You have the branding on the blade there. You have a blue anodized hardware, which looks very nice, very, very nice. You know, it'd look really nice if we had blue over here too. And then on this side, you do have all blue. You have a blue anodized clip. That blue goes so well with the G10. Here's a look at this G10. It kind of has like a wood grain effect to it. It does not have any texture. It's relatively smooth. I'd give it about a one, whereas 10 is being rough as sandpaper. It doesn't have much texture, but it does fit in your hand very well. Now I have large size hands. My hand from here to here is three inches, right here is four inches. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And yeah, uh, you can see right here, it's a, it's a tad small for my large width hands. Just a little bit because it does want your hand to fit in here. So if you have a medium or medium to large hand, this is going to fit your hand very well. But however, with this one, I find if I choke down like this further in my fingers, it does work very well and it does have good jimping. Look at that. They always have good jimping on their knives. It's very grippy. It helps lock you into place. And I do like the action on this. I like the options. You can reverse flick it. If you don't put your finger in the way like I did, look at this. Before I forget, here's a look at the jimping. <laughs> oh yeah, look at the jimps. We have jimps for days. And the reverse flick's my favorite with this one good, just because it's so snappy. But back here, look at that. There's the push button. Here's the pull, and then you can always do the flick your bick, and then up top here, you can, you can flip over the top. And it has such good jimping, it makes it very easy to flip over the top. And these are, on, these are gonna be on sale also. I believe these are running around like 49 bucks during the sale. And can I fr front flip it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I haven't flipped mine in a while. What, what? Yeah, you, you hurt me. Yo, so there is the O-Knife Splint. Overall, it's 6.93 inches long. The blade length, 2.97 inches. Your cutting edge, 2.7 inches. It weighs in at 2.9 ounces. So it's a very lightweight, small, everyday carry knife. I do like it. For me, I wouldn't mind if it was a tad bigger, but I do have larger width hands. So with my hand size, I am filling the pocket clip. The pocket clip does not have any screws sticking out and it is not reversible on this model. It is it is easy in and out of the pocket. It's not grabby. It's not gonna tear up your pockets or the edge of your pockets because this G10 is smooth. It comes with a very nice challenge coin. Look at that. I love the detail on their challenge coins. They look very nice, very, very nice. Now I'm gonna show you a sweet, and I mean an absolute sweet upgrade to the Arkfeld. You all have seen my videos showing the Arkfeld. You know how much I love the Arkfeld. It, it's easy to switch between lazy and light laser. Now they have a new one. This one has the UV light. You can use it to check currency, or if you go to hotels, look for bodily fluids. You can see some insects that glow in the dark, that type of thing, but it has a very nice switch. When you push your button, it does let you know what your charge is. And I haven't even shown you. <laughs> I haven't even shown you what has changed. Now look at this. Let me turn the light off. Look at this. It is much thinner on the base. The, what they've done is they changed the pocket clip. With this one, it's a one-way pocket clip, and you had this much of the light sticking out of your pocket or your backpack or wherever you had it clipped. Now, they have the two-directional pocket clip, and on top of that, it does have a hole, so if you want to put a lanyard in it, you can put a lanyard in there for all you lanyard lovers. And this is a deep carry clip. Yeah, all the way down in your pocket. Virtually nothing showing. So that is definitely two improvements, and then look at this, the width. That is huge. Let me show you right now. I can't put them next to each other. <laughs> the magnets are like, it's not going to happen. They have a very strong magnet on the back. You can stick them to anything metal. 
They're the easiest thing to charge ever. All you have to do is get them close to the charger and boom, you're charging just like that. Now the difference between these two is significant. This one right here, this is the original Arkfeld, is 0.75 inches, so it's three quarters of an inch. They took it down to 0.64, and I'm telling you, these are pushing against each other because they have such good magnets, but you can tell right here, this is what I've been trying to get to, there is your width difference. It makes a big difference in your pocket. This one is going, I love this one, but this one is going to carry in your pocket much better. You don't have that kind of bulbous overhang. It's not bad, but wow. This is a huge, huge improvement. And speaking of improvements, look at the jimping. Look at the knurling. Look at the, what do you call it? <laughs> the milling. I think that's the word I was looking for. There you go. Check out that milling. Gives you really nice texture. Gives you more grip on it. So it's more grippy. Carries in the pocket well. It has the two directional pocket clip. You can put a lanyard on it. It is thinner. You can see we're thinner. Some of you might get that reference. It doesn't, the ring doesn't go all the way around, but the charger works just the same. So that is very, very nice. This has IPX7, so it's virtually waterproof. It can be submersed. And it, you could get the cool white or the neutral white, the cool, cool white. And then you have the moonlight mode when you turn it on. Then you have 15, 60, and then 300. And when you double tap, a thousand lumens. It is incredibly bright. It'll light up my entire backyard. This thing is incredible. And I do love that when you push it, you know how much charge, 25, 50, 75, and hundred percent. Now the blue light is, it's the strongest UV light I've seen. It will light up. In, I mean, anything white in the room, it's fun to play with. Your kids can play with it. If you have anything that's reactive to blue light, it's even too bright for me to show you and as an example right now, you can use this to, to check money. You can see the little the little uh, strips in money. There's a lot of uses for this UV light and you can just discover more. It's fun to have, but it is more useful. A lot of folks never have a use for the laser light. So this is a nice addition. It's easy to switch back and forth. It's very intuitive. You just hold it down and you're on moonlight and then you then it turns off and it locks. So there is the new Arkfeld. Right now during the sale, these are running $59.98, which is very, that is a very good deal. And you know what? As they usually do, Olight, they had to throw in, if for a dollar more, guess what you get? You get the infamous, the famous i3e EOS, and this is the zombie green. And if you haven't seen these, or you're new to Olight, or you haven't seen my other videos with EDC gear, this is one of the best keychain flashlights. It's 90 lumens. It takes a AAA battery. There's nothing, nothing spectacular that you have to do. It's it's milled well, it has double O-rings. You don't have to worry if you're out in the rain because it is sealed and all you have to do is twist it on and twist it off. So there's a nice little close look at the zombie green. Now, nor this is like a, this is a dollar more. So when you get this for 59, this is a dollar more. And these run, these i3Es, they run 13 bucks, 12.99. And check out this one. They're gonna have this one. It's the antique bronze i3E. You could collect the whole set, but these are awesome gifts. I mean, give one to every, <laughs> I, usually this is what they'll give away. This time they're giving away the Gober, which these are very nice to have, but you can get these and give them away for gifts, for Christmases, for birthdays, things like that. But I wanted to let you know this new color, or at least I haven't seen it before, the antique bronze. And th this one cost you $12.99. This one will cost you a dollar if you get the new Arkfeld. And the new Arkfeld comes in three different colors, OD green, orange, and black. This is the new i3T Plus in OD green. <laughs> oh yeah. And you know the one the one time, this one time, it, no, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> this uh, Helix, the heel, I couldn't remember. I called it something like the twisty turny thing. But if you look at the milling, on that helix going around this. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. And this is the i3T Pro, not Pro, the i3T Plus. <laughs> I can't hardly keep them straight. So this just runs off of two AA batteries and it does have some nice milled, milled pattern or knurling that makes it really easy to take the tail cap off. You can put rechargeable AAAs in it or get you a whole pack of those like Amazon AAAs and it seals up. This is also IPX7 as far as I can remember. Actually, I think this one is IPX8 
And this, uh, you could get it in different styles. They run from $23.99 up to $49.95, $49.95. But that one, the one that's expensive, more expensive is Ancient Bamboo model. It looks very sweet. I wouldn't mind having one of those bad boys. But it's very simple. There's nothing special, nothing to memorize. It has the two directional pocket clip that is that they're famous for. You click once for 15 lumens, which for on 15 lumens, it runs for hours and hours and hours. You click it once, then you click it again, and then you're 250 lumens, and it ramps up. Watch how watch it'll do it a slow. I'll, I'll click it again, and it ramps up. It's hard for you to tell on camera, but it is extremely bright. I used this one to let the dog outside last night. This one will fit in your shirt pocket. It'll go in a go pack. It'll fit in your backpack. It's a good one to keep in your car. I really do like the modular design, and their anodization on the, on the aluminum is just fantastic. Now, certainly not least, but this is last, this thing under my hand, <laughs> I had to send a picture to my wife because wait till I tell you what it does. You know, I'm like a kid in a candy store with new gadgets and things like this. This is the O-Bulb MCs. Check it out. This thing is so cool. You're like, uh, all right, it's a bulb, big deal, right? But besides having the regular functions, it has the white light. On this mode, by the way, it will last 40 hours. <laughs> You could use this a whole work week while you're at work or something, but it's magnetic. It'll fit to anything. It comes with this, this Olight medallion that you can detach this wherever you're going to be putting this. And if it's a non-magnetic surface, now you can stick it there. You can put it upside down. You can stick this to anything. You can stick it on the roof of your car, the back of your truck, whatever. But these things are awesome. I use the regular size, this one right here, the Obal Pro. You can see there's a size difference for you. But I use this one on my live streams. I really like the light that it puts off. Now this one, it has a couple of features. And I haven't shown you the cool thing that it does yet. You just hold your horses. So you can just press it and it will go to the brightness. It'll go to the max lumens of 75 lumens. Now you can change the colors. You can just go through the red, green, and blue. And if you keep pressing it, it'll get to this mode right here. And it will cycle. It'll, it's like shagadelic. It'll go through the whole color spectrum. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Yeah, you, you know, yeah, I know. I hear you, but the camera doesn't show it well, but it does it does this like psychedelic effect. And you could also have a strobe. Don't put that on top of your car and go drive it down the street. And because it's a St. Patrick's Day sale, it comes with this. You can hang this from anything. You hang it from your belt or hang it from a tent. This slides over the top. And then you turn it on and you can change it to whatever color you want and have it hanging. And you could get a whole set of these bad boys. And by the way, these float. You can throw it in your pool or your water fountain or a bird bath or something like that. It'd be a nice feature. You could actually put it in the center of your table floating in a centerpiece. These things are really sweet. Now, let me show you the cool thing. Look at the charger. Oh, yeah. I was using this last night. This is what I sent a picture to my wife, Mrs. B's. When you have this plugged in and it's charging, guess what? It is motion activated. <laughs> it is a night light. So in low light conditions, when this is plugged in, not only is it charging, it's motion activated and it'll come on. If you're like within two to six, I don't know, three, eight feet, somewhere in that nature. All I know is I walked in the other side of the kitchen and it turned on and I was like a kid. I, I was, it was the coolest thing. And, but look at this. Here's another thing. You can charge your O lights still. So one plug, you'll charge one up here and you'll charge one over here. And check this out. If you just wanna charge your arc felt, you can just pop your arc felt on there just like that. Isn't that just the coolest thing? I thought it was cool having the motion detector and it has a lot of different modes and it tells you if you press it over 20 times, you'll get another, you can search for different modes that it has. But these things are very cool. And right now they're on sale, they're running 3196. So there's your new gear from Olight and O-Knife. You got some O-Bulbs, a Gober, a Splint, the new Freeze 3, a new Arkfeld, and oh man, I really like this bad boy. This thing is so sweet. The i3T, and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it. I have links in the description and in the comment section. You can go check them out for yourself. Go get your free Gober. These are very nice, especially when they're free. But until I see you all again, go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And I'll see you at the Live at the Hive on Friday nights from 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.